I'm Mike Watkins. Welcome back. Now, more of our interview with Governor Janet Napolitano, the topic, Colorado City. We've made progress. Still a long way to go. It's a very, very difficult situation, um, as anyone who's working in the area knows. Yesterday, we sat down with Governor Janet Napolitano to talk about the situation in the polygamist enclave of Colorado City, Arizona. Do you believe that crimes are being committed in that community under the sort of umbrella of the FLDS church there? Well, uh, it, it's not a healthy situation, and I don't think anybody thinks it's a healthy situation. The question is, how do you deal with it? How do you move forward? Um, how do you uh, address it? Uh, and within the confines of the law. Do you believe, in fact, that young girls are forced into marriage, there is statutory rape, there's welfare fraud? Do you believe those issues, those problems, are currently going on in that community? I believe that there are investigations of those problems currently going on in that community. I believe those investigations are being done by the Attorney Generals of both Arizona and Utah, and I believe some of them are under the jurisdiction of the courts as we speak. I also know that I am barred from speaking about those investigations. Investigations that Janet Napolitano herself told us that she started as Attorney General several years ago after seeing one of our reports on News Channel 3, part of a series of reports that have pointed up numerous criminal violations. But today, the governor willing to say only that the situation is, quote, not healthy. Everybody talks. You know, talk, talk, talk. Nothing is being done. No. No. Indeed, anti-polygamy activists like Penny Peterson say there is plenty of evidence of criminal behavior, abuse, and human rights violations that the state of Arizona should act upon and has not. So we asked the governor what she views as her greatest accomplishment in addressing this issue and helping the victims. Clearly, this is an issue that you have been aware of for some time. Yeah. During that your time in as Attorney General and as Governor, what would you point to personally as your biggest accomplishment in helping the people of Colorado City? I think that um, what we have accomplished is several things. One, a physical presence. And that presence, this triple-wide mobile office that is to serve as a state and county law enforcement and justice center in Colorado City. We were there when it opened early this fall after nearly a year of delays and foot dragging, a facility that's still only partially furnished and very much understaffed. I think they, they put up the, the little uh, double wide up there and said, okay, here we've done something, but yet done what? Well, I think there's a lot that needs to be done yet. It is a sentiment shared by Republican State Senator Marilyn Jarrett, who recently sponsored legislation to help crack down on polygamous crimes. Has the governor and the attorney general done enough to address this issue? I don't think so. I don't think they've done enough. There's a lot more that could be done. And all this, while underage girls continue to be placed into polygamous marriages, young boys continue to be run out of town by polygamous cops, and women like Lorene Jessup continue to flee the community with their children with absolutely no help from the state. It's sad that there isn't a better program out, out here that can help children who are educationally deprived, social and emotional, both. Is there an underground railroad? Does it exist because Absolutely. This, the government is not doing its job? Yes. Yes, and as a result of that, the state of Arizona, the only thing they've done actually to offer aid is threaten to arrest us who are helping these children escape. Threaten to arrest people like you? Yes. And one last issue we wanted specifics about during our time-restricted interview with the governor, the case of Orson William Black, the one polygamous man thus far indicted by the state of Arizona for having sex with underage girls. A guy who has eluded capture for well over a year, despite the fact that we've tracked him down twice now, once hiding in this home on the Utah-Arizona border, and once hiding in Mexico. The criminal law process is the criminal law process. Investigations were started and I was Attorney General. They've been carried on by Attorney General Goddard and by General Shirtless. They have worked together. 
Where is Mr. Black? I cannot, I'm not permitted to talk to you about the status of criminal investigation. Are you going to find Mr. Black? Are you uh, encouraging I Terry Goddard to find Mr. Black? I think Attorney General Goddard, as I am, is as equally concerned about Colorado City as any citizen. The problem is that you all want us to snap our fingers and, and solve the situation where it's a combination of things that have to happen. Which leads us back to our original question to the governor. You're proud of your record on this, Governor. You know, I'm not going to answer that question. It's a project still in the making. I'm not done. And critics tell us it's a good thing the governor is not done because they say there's still a lot of work to do. An interesting footnote to this story, multiple sources called me today and said there was suddenly a flurry of activity up at that building in Colorado City, people delivering furniture today, fixing it up. Is this media pressure or just a coincidence? We don't know. Stay tuned. Like you're as educated on this issue as anybody I know, where do we go from here? I mean, what happens then? Well, the governor asked what should she do. She should de decertify the police force, go to post and say, pull away their certification. They're all polygamous. They support the profit. They're really an instrument of oppression in that town. They need to pass legislation to give Tom Horn, the superintendent of public instruction, right to go in and take over the school district there. It's completely corrupt bankrupt and all the money that we're sending up there is going into the pocket of Warren Jeffs, the prophet, and his cronies. And they should go catch William, Orson William Black, the man who's on the run. We found him twice. Arizona cops should do the same. All right, Mike. Thank you very much. Interesting stuff. Thank you for presenting it.